בוקר טוב, שבת שלום, אנא תפסו מקומותיכם, קבו טלפוניכם, אנחנו עומדים להתחיל יומה הרביעי של תחרות רובינשטיין ה-17. אנחנו שמענו כבר 16 מתמודדים, כך שאנחנו כמעט במחצית, 33 מנגנים בשלב הראשון, והיום לפנינו שלושה מקצים ושבעה מתחרים. מיד נתחיל במקצה הראשון עם שני פסנתרנים. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the fourth day of the Rubenstein competition. 16 competitors have already played their recitals for first stage, and seven more will play today in three sessions. And now, the members of the jury. Chairman of the jury, Arie Vardi. From Israel and USA, Vice Chair Yochevet Kaplinski. From Poland, Vice Chair Katjina Popova-Zidron. From Israel, Taisir Elias. From Canada and Germany, Janina Fialkowska. From Japan, Noriko Ogawa. From United Kingdom, Ronan Ohora. From USA, Robert Levin. From USA and Bulgaria, Emil Naumov. From China, Shauhan Wang. From Israel, Asaf Zohar. Our junior jury. From Israel, Dani Dvorkin. Noah Kapelyushnik. Lior Lifshitz. Ophir Peres. Amir Ron. From Canada, Vivian Chen. And Ukraine, Tetiana Donets. Hamitchara Rishona Lehayom, ladies first today. Yukine Kuroki, number 17, she's 24, from Japan. Yukine will begin with Liszt, and she will play from Etude d'Execution Transcendante, number 5 in B flat major, Feu Follet. Ballad number two in B minor, and Alban Berg, Sonata Opus One. The last piece is Shostakovich, Sonata number one in C major, Opus 12. Yukine Kuroki.
Hello and welcome to our little studio here in the Rubinstein Piano Competition in Tel Aviv Museum, Tel Aviv Art Museum. Today we want to talk about some things that are connected to music but not really to classical music. We have here with us Chaim Kahiri who is the founder and CEO of the Arkena Company and with him Boaz Reimschreiber um, who is the chief and music um, of education. <laughs> chief of kind music of, and of, education. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you invented a new instrument, a new musical instrument, mm -hmm. uh, which is very interesting. Um, what is the name of this instrument? This Piano, a, guitar? This is the Arcana Strum. Arcana Strum. And it uh, behaves like a guitar. So first of all, before you will um, demonstrate and tell us about this interesting in instrument, uh, where did the idea come from and why? Well, a few years ago, we were approached by a, a young student who wanted to learn guitar, to play guitar just like her peers. Uh, her classmates were learning piano and guitar and flute. But uh, this student, Gil, uh, she has a cerebral palsy with uh, very limited movements in her fingers and hands. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't uh, learn to play a regular music She couldn't instrument. approach any instrument, but she had the passion to play. Exactly. She had the passion yeah. and uh, and uh, motivation and talent. And a very uh, great mother that was Strong like, will. Uh, yeah. we got to make her dream come true. Yeah, when I think of it, uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that would like to express themselves but by music, but they are not capable to do yes, that. Yes, there are millions of children yeah. who are actually excluded from music education just because there is no appropriate music instrument that uh, they can play. And Boaz has the, had this uh, eureka moment when he saw that uh, Gil, even with her limited uh, ability to move her hands, she has total control over her motorized wheelchair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he thought, why don't we create a music instrument based on a very... A custom-made instrument for, for this special... Yeah, we started as a yeah. custom-made instrument and then took this uh, hackathon with uh, research in uh, different uh, institutions and schools to learn about very uh, every disability that's out there and yeah, we built... Various, uh, uh, like from cognitive to physical. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you were <coughs> looking for something that will be an answer for a wide range of capabilities. Yeah, yeah. so uh, an instrument that could be controlled with one hand, two hands, even with your foot, with your head, uh -huh. and even if you have uh, learning disabilities or other cognitive disabilities. So first of all, still, uh, just to be to sure, this is an electronic instrument. Yes. It, is, it is not acoustic. It's electronic, but there's a uh, haptic, you can feel this in, your, in the handle here. Yeah. You can strum up and down and you can mm -hmm. feel guitar strings. Nice. And this is even uh, the tension can be controllable for different motor abilities. You, there's a screw here on the back that tightens it up. Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, uh, we've been granted uh, US patents for the, this invention. And it's very easy to so, uh, create these chords. Ah, nice. So here you have the, the chord um, selector or? Yeah, it's, it's keys that uh, they, are, they can also pivot to accommodate different uh, hand uh, also positions. in the other direction, also right total, hand. Yeah, yeah also right totally wow. that you can strum like this. So you could, uh, you could uh, uh, shift it to make it uh, the most comfortable for playing for, for, for any kind of disability. And with, uh, different, um, with different combinations of fingers, you can uh, uh, play tens of chords and any song that you would like. So I'm, I'm, trying about, I'm thinking about classical music. We are here in yep. the Arthur Rubinstein competition. Mm -hmm. If I would like to play a, a Chopin prelude, is it possible? Uh, this instrument, it was uh, initially designed to, uh, to be a full tonal range instrument. So we can play 30 semitones, two and a half octaves. That's, uh, I think, more than a guitar. Yeah, but, like but guitar. I think the answer, like for classical music, I teach it a lot, uh, but it's the melody 
Uh, it's a melodic instrument. The melod uh, if for classical music, but uh -huh. you can also play uh, Don Giovanni Mozart. I have, yeah. I played with this instrument, the chords. Why are like we mandolin. talking? Please demonstrate something. <laughs> Uh, so He's I have a drummer, uh, so it's good ah, to, to oh, show. Oh, I have also notes. <laughs> I'm a drummer, so I'll, uh, but I can still uh, yeah, it's I can this play music. This is also uh, interesting because you, you have developed a unique musical language yeah. for this instrument, uh, especially notation. Uh, let me show it to the camera. As you can see, we have here the cliff. Uh, this is um, not, a, it's not, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's not, not a, a treble not or bass, but it's something it's our kind of, unique. Yeah. We have here the, the time signature, and here we have the strings like a tablature of guitar. So uh, it di method. it's divided like a tablet, uh, tabs of guitar. Yeah, and also you can see the breaks, it's from the classical uh, writing notes. Yeah, this is Strauss, not Chopin. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you need to practice, Chaim. Practice is oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> this one is, is a, a little bit uh, hard, uh, but y y actu actually, you have. I, I can. Yeah, it sure, no, it's okay. I want to see uh, to show how simple it is. are close to each other. Yeah, and uh, you have so many uh, melodies, simple melody between Do and Sol. Yes. So, uh, so you have all, all the semitones uh, and... Uh, yeah, and sometimes uh, a person with only one head, hand movement or with his head or with his leg oh. can play classical music. And, and if you just uh, want to yeah. play uh, chords, then yes. it's uh, very easy to play chords. I'll just play uh, Let It Be uh, by the Beatles. And we will and sing, uh, sing along. I will try. <laughs> and I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me. Singing words of wisdom. Everyone, let, let it be. 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 Also, also with the feeling, you you also can um, t you have the touch and, and yeah. Yep. There's a, there's a four sensors under the stick and under the keys. So is it possible to play piano? Yeah, forte? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we have a setting here. It's currently Let's touch show off. To the, to the, to the yeah. camera. Yeah. So there's a few settings here that configure the instrument uh -huh. to make it uh, from a professional instrument to a. A simple beginner instrument, and the whole the whole idea is is to, uh, uh, what ability every everyone have has on this instrument, because the touch of uh, if if you want to play with touch with uh, dynamics. dynamics, so it's it's make it harder. So mm -hmm. most of the the uh, students at the first year or uh, the second year depends in the, the how they use the arcana. We, we make it off. We don't want it to be hard, yeah. too, too much hard. Yeah. You are the one that meet the, your clients. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it's it. My the, friends. Uh, how, 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 tell me about the meetings, about the... the, the uh, actually, it's, it's uh, like every day. Uh, I'm coming now from... Uh, uh, I have a band in uh, own school. It's uh, North uh, Tel Aviv. And uh, most of the st uh, students there uh, have a cerebral palsy. And I have the, a band that we perform now uh, to the, how you say, uh, to the city? Uh, the, the municipality. The yeah, municipality. The city hall. Yeah, and uh, like every day I uh, uh, train uh, teachers and therapists and even occupational therapists can use it. They don't nothing. Uh, I don't know nothing about music, and they need all they need is the color and the songs, and then they play with their. Uh, yeah, let's patients. talk a little bit about the healing um, um, abilities of this instrument. 
I, th I think that, the, that we need to talk about the healing of music. Of music, of course. Because this instrument is not, I am the healer, it's I am the, the interface for the, the healing, the power of, of yeah. music. This is the whole idea. Uh, and, and it's amazing uh, to see uh, the music in the special education, uh, for example. It's amazing to see uh, how it's become a very, um, like uh, wide all over the school, uh, in the classes, in the, uh, in, in the um, holidays. Like every time they have a, a, a reason to use it, we make a, an about, idea what we're going to do and then we're... Tell me about sure. a specific um, issue that you remember that was really moving or very, very touching. As I say, as I said, it's like every day, but uh, I think the most, uh, for me, uh, amazing thing that I, like, I, I felt, of course, the story of Gil, to make her dream come true, it's, it's like, this is what I wanted to make the first. Uh, I, I will tell a story about a student in uh, on school. And he's like uh, the most, uh, uh, the, he have the hard, uh, the hard uh, disability. He cannot speak. He has, he has only like, you know, the iPads iPad to say with, uh, yes, no. Very uh, limited uh, also with the language. Uh, he's, he was at uh, the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Sixth grade, it's guitar, yeah. So, yeah. sixth grade. Uh, now 12 he, years now, old. Yeah, now he's 14. Uh, um, and it was like I, I, I taught him to, uh, to play uh, C scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Like it was, the, I, I will show, like, okay. And then go back. And, and this kid is it's like, it, uh, to make this uh, uh, 14 notes, it was like uh, one minute. Uh, one minute at, at least, maybe two, and he, he's playing like a distortion, guitar distortion, okay. and then he, 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 the, when he finished the, the, the last note, the last note is like uh, um, looking at the <laughs> audience, and, taking and then he, he, he give me the sign, and then I make it like uh, even hard uh, sound distortion, and then he played Do. And like it was, and like everybody was amazed, and 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 his friends didn't know that he got the the, the cognitive ability, Incredible. that he know what is do re mi fa sol la si do do si la so. It's a lot of things to to know. Incredible. So, and, uh, Chaim, yeah. uh, tell me about uh, your goal. What is the, now you have this instrument? Yeah. What do you see in the future? So, uh, the reason that we took on this mission and. Uh, dedicated our entire uh, entire activity Everything. for this oh. instrument is uh, as musicians we know that music is not only for passionate or talented people it's actually um, a very uh, effective activity to develop the brain especially in young children just like any language that you learn in school and uh, when we learn that there's no instrument that uh, that people with disabilities have to play. As musicians, we, we knew that we want to create something. And uh, now that we've uh, created this first series, our mission is to get it into every school and to uh, raise the awareness of its, its existence that anybody who wants to express themselves with music can pick up this instrument and learn to play. Of course, because it's an electronic instrument, mm -hmm. you can uh, adapt any sound, not yeah. just guitar. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, so it's a MIDI I device, and you can select any sound that you want, guitar, So I have, a, I have an idea for you. Uh, you know that back when Johann Sebastian Bach was uh, acting, okay. he met the new piano forte, the new piano, and it was a new instrument for him, and he composed um, special pieces for this uh, instrument. Mm -hmm. um, um, so this is the well-tempered uh, clavier. Okay. So now I'm uh, talking to the composers in our mm -hmm. uh, uh, audience. 
This is the challenge for you. Compose new things for this um, instrument, and maybe in five, six, seven years, we will have the Auto Rubinstein competition for Arcana. For Arcana, great. Yeah, sounds good. Good. Thing. So I would like to, uh, to hear another thing, and we will say goodbye to our uh, uh, audience, and thank you very much. Um, Chaim Kahir and Boaz Rhein Schreiber. Thank I, you for I will, coming. I will play uh, something that uh, it's Eastern. Go. Mm -hmm.
שלום, שבנו, תחרות רובינשטיין ה-17, אנחנו מיד עם המתחרה ה-18, אנחנו כאן במוזיאון תל אביב, Ladies and Gentlemen, the 17th Rubenstein competition and the 18th competitor ahead of us. Mirabel Kajengeri from France, she's 24 years old, and she will play Haydn, piano sonata in E-flat major, Hoboken 16, number 52. Continue with Ravel, two, mo two movements from Miroir, Une barque sur l'océan, Siraba Okeanos, and La Vallée de Cloche, Emeka Paamonim. And the last work will be Kreisler Rachmaninov, Liebesfreud, Simchat Ahava. Kablu et Mirabel Kajengeri.